Hello everyone, welcome back to the Integrity Botanicals YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be doing a brand overview to a newer a brand on the Integrity Botanicals website and that is none other than Mara. And this brand was launched and founded in 2018, brand new to the website, a gorgeous five piece skincare collection. Um, that was founded by a Californian beauty editor slash influencer in the di digital space. Her name is Allison McNamara. And I actually got to speak with her over uh, Zoom and dive a little bit deeper into the line. Um, just pick her brain a little bit about ingredients and reasons for creating such products. And I really think she has done such an amazing job. And I always particularly love when green beauty brands or makeup lines or anything like that are created by makeup artists or beauty editors, by people really in the space that sort of we all are right and actively consuming it. So I feel like you get a really well-developed sense of what works, you know what I mean? Not only for you, but otherwise, especially if it's something that you are reporting on because she was a beauty editor, which I think is amazing. So five piece collection to start. Um, they just, they did start with a facial oil, which I will sort of break these down as we get going, but it's a very minimalist approach to this line. It all works um, beautifully together. And I think this is a really nice sort of starting line for a skincare routine, which is something that I really, really like um, because it's not only easy to use on its own, but also very easy to mix and match into your collection as well. So the whole ethos behind this brand, of course, is that minimalist approach that I already spoke about, but all of the uh, products as well are powered by an algae plankton blend and superfood plant oil. So that is a running theme throughout this line, and it is meant to just plump the skin, seal in moisture, but it is a line that is suited for all skin type. So I really, really like that. Nothing is so potent and powerful in any direction. It's just good, dewy, fresh face skin. And if you see the owner, she has some of the most incredible skin. Like in fact, she hardly wears makeup, but I just had a really good personal experience with the line and I'm just going to jump right in on sharing it with you. Right. So, oh, so one thing I did also want to point out that I love, the packaging is gorgeous. I will be sharing that with you as I sort of jump into all these products, but what also is such a detail that I adore is all the bottles look different. Um, they look similar, like as far as coloring and, you know, gold detailing and logo, of course, but all of them have slightly different shapes. So you can really pick what's what. You don't even have to read the bottles. You just simply no, and that is a detail that I just love and you will see I'm that. I'm going so. to start with the universal face oil. This is an algae and moringa facial oil. The entire line is vegan. I did also want to lead with that outside of the face mask. The face mask does have honey. So keep that in mind and we'll sort of cross that bridge when we get there. So this is their first launch and probably eh, it's my second favorite, I think, of the entire lineup. It's really, really fantastic. So it has their proprietary blend of the algae and sea plankton that I've already told you about, the superfood plant oils, things of that nature. It comes in two sizes. There's a 15 milliliter and the full size at 35 milliliter, which I have right here, which I love that they have that offering since it is a higher price point item. It's a really fantastic way to try the line. I just adore it. So we have the algae blend. The algae blend is loaded with a bunch of fatty acids. Fatty acids help to plump and firm the skin, which is the number one goal of the line, which I love. Um, the plankton extract I did also want to touch is vegan. Um, there is a way to um, collect that ingredient that is not vegan. Um, however, this is is the vegan variety. Then there's also Moringa in here, as the name would suggest. Moringa contains 46 antioxidants that really play for a very dewy, fresh complexion. There's Baobab. Baobab is loaded with vitamin C. Vitamin C is, of course, very great for brightening the skin, cellular turnover, helping with dark spots, anything like that. There's also Kalahari Watermelon. Kalahari Watermelon is known to be a very intensely nourishing ingredient. Um, and then there's also bilberry. Bilberry is loaded with resveratrol. Resveratrol is a really potent ingredient for anti-aging properties, which of course I am in love with. It just leaves radiant, plump, healthy skin. There's nothing to really not like here. It's not overly oily and greasy. It absorbs very, very quickly as I'm showing you here 
on the back of my hands. It has a velvety texture that really lends itself to applying makeup on top of, though you don't have to if you don't want to, of course, and it is suited to all skin types. I would absolutely agree. Again, if you're afraid of facial oils, this is a great one because it's not a really rich, overly emollient, runny one that you feel like is sitting on top of your skin for a long period of time. It is great. One of my most used items on a routine basis out of the entire lineup. It's just good. It works. It's to the point. And that, again, is sort of what the line is all about, and I love it. Fuss-free. Then we have another facial oil. This is the retinol face facial oil, um, and it contains evening primrose and green tea. This is also offered in two different sizes, a 15 and a 30 milliliter, which I have right here. So in here, this contains 1.2% clean retinol. Retinol, I'm sure many of you are familiar, it can be a chemically based thing when it's not a natural product. And this is one of my favorite things that I got out of Green Beauty. Now that I'm getting a little bit older in my mid 20s, retinol and things like that are really something that I'm looking towards adding into my skincare routine. But traditionally, they have a stigma of being incredibly harsh, abrasive on the skin, making the skin raw, dry, all things that I have no interest in at all. And since this is of a clean variety, it is a lot easier on the skin, but you get the same exact results. So there's nothing really to not love here. So we have 1.2% clean retinol in here. There are four different sources of vitamin A, um, which include cacay and fermented green tea, as the name would suggest. Um, but vitamin A supercharges cellular turnover. So that is really what we're getting out of retinol. More cell turnover, revealing fresher, more youthful skin. It helps with clogged pores, which is something that I struggle with very regularly. It helps with um, your skin's texture, the clarity, the radiance. Um, it helps with smoothing, smoothing the skin. Of course, all of those are sort of interchanged. Retinol can also be very, very helpful for any active breakouts, things like that. Dark spots, it is a miracle worker for. But um, something I did want to preface before we dive into the ingredients is that sometimes with retinol, your skin can have a little bit of a purging process. So your skin's kind of like, oh my God, what's going on? So much cellular turnover, lots of stuff coming to the surface here. Um, so it could last up to four weeks. You might have a couple breakouts here and there nothing crazy. My skin did experience it very slightly, but in all the usual places that I get it. So I got one like right here, which will happen to me occasionally. I get them sort of along the hairline, but my skin is all the better for it. It is absolutely worth it. So if you have a more sensitive skin, you want to use this one to two times per week. Once you get very used to it, I'm not quite at that point yet because I am more, I am newer to retinol like products. Um, you can use it every single day. It is safe enough to use every single night. You do want to use this exclusively in the PM just because all that cellular turnover makes your skin more sensitive to the sun. So if you are using a retinol based product, do make sure that you are using an SPF during the daytime. So you could dilute this if you wish. If you find that, always do a patch test with whenever you're using a new product like this. The vitamin C serum, I would say do the same thing. Anything new and a little bit more of an intensive treatment, I do recommend doing that just to make sure your skin can tolerate it. If you find that it cannot, um, like I said, just come in two varieties, so maybe start with the smaller one. Um, then you could dilute it with a non-active formula. So a non-active formula meaning not a retinol-based formula, not a vitamin C formula, things of that nature. So. Um, that sort of breakout usually only lasts about a week. It did only last about a week for me. And then we are, tell me I look 25 again. No, I'm just kidding. Anyway, in here we have that algae blend, of course, as the name would suggest. There is also hemp derived cannabis in here, which actually is comprised of proteins that visibly plump and hydrate the skin. This ingredient is crucial to helping the sort of usual peeling that comes with the retinol. It can be very drying, having that level of cellular turnover. This helps you get all the results without all the dryness, which I just love. So this is a really fantastic product. I've been using it one to two times per week. You do take the pipette here. All of them are in, um, pipettes as far as the serums are concerned and you use six to eight drops apply it all over the skin I bring mine right down the neck as well and you will absolutely notice a difference it is really really special I am very happy to have that in the collection now probably my favorite because I was telling you all that I think the uh that I think the a universal facial oil is my favorite product is my second favorite product in the lineup this I think is my first and it's just because this is something that I use every single 
day. I am a routine makeup wearer. I work five days a week, plus I get on camera the days that I'm off. So I am usually always in a full face. And this is their Algae Enzyme Cleansing Oil. Now, there's a lot of good cleansing oils on the website, but this one is phenomenal. I am in love with it. So make sure when you first get it, you're gonna see that it sort of settles here at the bottom. This is mostly when it's a newer product. So as I continue to use this, it'll get more distributed. So you're gonna give us a good shake. It has a pump, which I love this little lock mechanism as well. 58 bucks. This is meant to cleanse, brighten, and hydrate the skin, all while move, removing makeup and impurities. So this is a first cleanse for me. I do go in with something else immediately after, but my favorite thing about it is that you actually get a slight exfoliation out of this product, and that is because it has papaya, pumpkin, pineapple, and grapefruit enzymes. Those fruit enzymes actually act as like a really mild exfoliation, and I'm getting that on an every single day basis. So using something like this, plus a retinol and a really hydrating, beautiful facial oil. I mean, my skin is looking fantastic, and this is the time of year I really wanna let my skin shine. Um, so you can't use that every single day. It's a really, really mild exfoliation. Even if you have sensitive skin, don't let that deter you. There's also spirulina, kelp, chia and squalene, all really rich, nourishing ingredients. Um, your, ne your skin's never gonna feel stripped when you use this, which I love. Like I said, I wear quite a full face of makeup, so I worry about that, especially since it is only my first cleanse, but it is absolutely amazing. You only need one to two pumps of product. You apply this all over your dry skin, melt all the makeup off, and then I take warm water, and it is a water soluble formula, which means you do not need to use a warm muslin cloth to remove this, which I absolutely adore. So this is an easy, really great intro into the line, specifically if you are in the market for a makeup remover. Something that I learned while speaking to Allison is actually that you could leave it on as a treatment one or two times per week. You could leave it on for 15 to 45 minutes, depending on the level of sensitivity of your skin. So you just put that all on. She said it works really great with steam. So it's something that she'll put on right when she gets on in the shower, sort of do the business everywhere else. And then she will remove this at the very end. And again, because it has those exfoliating properties, it can leave a very radiant complexion. So I actually haven't tried that yet. That was a new piece of information I just got, but I will definitely try it and report Back to you all. Moving right along. We got two more products. See, it's gonna be a lot shorter than my usual videos because we got five products to talk about. This is their um, C Vitamin C Serum with Chlorella and Reishi, I believe is how you pronounce it. This is a $96 item. I believe this is the only size that it comes in. I might be wrong. I will include the travel size down below as well if that is the case. So you could use this AM or PM. Um, I will use it either. I usually use the retinol one at night and I'll use this in the morning. Um, it is a totally glow inducing formula. So whenever you are using something like that, again, I did just want to reiterate SPF, super, super important to use in conjunction with. So what's really great about a lot of new vitamin C products that are coming into the market, this one is no exception, is that it's a very stable base of vitamin C. Vitamin C typically comes dry because when it's, it's in this formula, it can be incredibly unstable. That is not the case. So what's also great about it, vitamin C, I've used a lot of vitamin C products over the years, so if you have as well, you'll know why this one is different. Um, it doesn't have an intense smell. In fact, it smells like essentially nothing. Um, it has a silky, velvety texture, much like the universal facial oil, if you are familiar. It's not sticky. Vitamin C products, I'm sure just due to the nature of its contents, can be sticky. This is not the case at all, so again, sits great under makeup. I will apply this first and then the facial oil over it, but they make an amazing pairing because the texture of them is incredibly, incredibly similar. So if you are unfamiliar with the positives of vitamin C, vitamin C is great for sun damage, dark spots, hyperpigmentation. That's really what it targets and attacks. It's very, very brightening to the skin. It's also great if you have clogged pores like myself due to those brightening properties. You can't get rid of all the other stuff, the dark spots and whatever without purging all of that stuff as well. So in here, we have their beautiful proprietary algae blend that I already spoke about. Um, they have THD acerbate, which is the most stable form of vitamin C. That is where the vitamin C is sourced. Um, then there's also a vitamin C supercharged blend 
in addition to this. Um, and then there, it is also formulated with adaptogens, and adaptogens really help to calm, soothe the skin, um, help with redness, anything like that. So again, this is, this is a product that is suitable for all skin types, which I really enjoy that they made this line so accessible to everyone. It's straightforward and to the point. I love it. So this is an incredibly gentle formula, though incredibly effective. So if vitamin C is something that you have been sensitive to in the past, I do recommend trying to get your hands on this, doing that patch test just to ensure, but even those who are very sensitive to it have been known to be able to use this product as well. It so. is so gentle to the point that she also said that you could pair this with microneedling, and microneedling and vitamin C, that pairing, just because your skin is more sensitive, that could be very divisive, but this one is so gentle that she does believe it is able to be used with that as well, and even on those who are typically too sensitive to vitamin C to be able to use it at all. So I think that's a testament to the product. So like I said, I like to use that in the morning, then go in with the facial oil or a moisturizer, whichever you prefer right on top, and then I'll use my retinol in the PM, and we are getting some hydrated, glowing, gorgeous skin. We love it. All right, so the final item in the lineup is actually the most recent. This launched in March of 2021, and this is their Volcanic Sea Clay detox mask. Now, I am not one to run and get super excited over a detox mask. In fact, I, th I think that they usually have negative connotation. I think that they can be incredibly drying to the skin. I think they make you think that you're going to have a breakout like immediately after putting one on. And as someone who has drier skin that isn't terribly problematic, I don't, I'm not first in line typically, but this one is also very different. Um, this is a $54 mask. It is the most beautiful color. You can see the texture is so very creamy. It doesn't suck your skin dry while still having many, many, many clarifying properties. So I love that combination. That made me significantly more excited about that. Not only that, but I think you typically think of a detox mask, you're like, oh my God, it's gonna take me like, it's gonna take me longer to get the mask off than I'm gonna have to sit and wait for it to marinate on my skin. This has an incredibly easy rinse off. It doesn't dry down to a hard, soul-sucking crust, you know what I mean? It is absolutely beautiful. So in here, of course, there are cleansing clays. There are many. There is volcanic ash, actually, which I thought was incredibly interesting. There's Mediterranean sea clay as well as kaolin, all of which work together to sort of pull out any of the excess impurities, which I love to do a mask like this, then follow up with a more hydrating one when I want to just give myself a little treat, just give my skin a little bit of a reset. It's very, very warm outside. I do find that's when I reach for these type of masks a little bit more often. There is, of course, that beautiful proprietary algae blend as a through line throughout the entire line. What I love about this mask most is that it's also formulated with honey. Honey not only is a antimicrobial ingredient, so it's phenomenal for breakouts. It's also humectant, so that means it draws in and retains moisture, and that is the beautiful combination between these cleansing clays and honey that allow for the mask to sort of be at work um, detoxing the skin, but not drying it out and getting that really stiff, hard finish, which I just love. So I really, really enjoy this mask. It's been a very, very welcome addition to someone who has a more dry complexion specifically. So that is it, everyone. That is a little overview of the brand Mara. If you're ever curious about more details about a line, Integrity Botanicals does a phenomenal job at sort of breaking down key ingredients, letting you know exactly what they do so you can take a bit of a deeper dive into that. If there's anything that you are worried and concerned about, I feel like I mentioned some big things as far as the purging process of the retinol and the microneedling and vitamin C conjunction, just let me know. I may have the answer for you or I definitely have a means of getting the answer for you, so do not hesitate to ask. But what I did want to leave you with is that I think this is a very thoughtful, well-curated line. She didn't just bang this out to make a quick buck because she has a bit of influence. She really created a gorgeous line that works not only so beautifully together, but like I said, is so easy to add into your collection. So it has been such a welcome addition. If you're gonna start, I think the cleansing oil is a phenomenal place to, to do so, only because I think there's a place for a cleansing oil in all of our collections, whether it be a really nice moisturizing morning cleanse or a really nice means of removing any excess impurities and makeup 
makeup at the end of the day. But all of these are a winner. Seriously, you really cannot go wrong. It just depends on exactly what you're looking for. So I thank you all so much for watching. If you are into this line, I would love to know what your favorite product is. If you are curious, I would love to know that as well. Just let me know your thoughts, feelings, and opinions in the comment section down below. Please, before you go, give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe because I do upload a new video here every single week. And I don't want you guys to miss them. Um, but thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for all of your love and support. And I will catch you in my next one. Bye.